North Korea blows up roads linking to South Korea amid rising tension. North Korea has demolished sections of disused roads that once connected it to South Korea, according to reports from South Korea's military. The explosions, which occurred around noon local time on Tuesday, targeted parts of the road situated north of the military demarcation line dividing the two countries. Following the blast, South Korea's military fired warning shots south of the line, according to the message from the Joint Chief of Staff. On Monday, Seoul had already warned that Pyongyang was preparing to destroy the road, a move that has now escalated tensions on the Korean peninsula. The situation has intensified after North Korea accused South Korea of sending drones carrying propaganda leaflets over its capital Pyongyang. In response, South Korea's military released footage showing the blast. One clip revealed North Korean soldiers setting up cameras on tripods before a massive explosion tore through the sections of the Gyeonggi Road, sending clouds of dust and debris into the air. Additional footage depicted similar destructions along the Donghae Road on the east coast, followed by the scenes of excavators and North Korean military personnel at work. While the roads had long been closed, experts said that destruction signals that North Korean leader Kim Jong-un is no longer interested in dialogue with South Korea. The explosions came just a day after Kim Jong-un held a meeting with top military and security officials to address the drone controversy. He condemned the fights as a serious provocation and discussed plans for immediate military action to protect North Korea's sovereignty. North Korea has previously threatened to launch attacks on South Korea if further drones are detected over its territory. Although South Korea has not confirmed sending the drones, it warned that it would respond harshly if North Korea endangers its citizens. The destruction of these roads reflect Kim Jong-un's efforts to serve ties with South Korea and solidify its status as North Korea's main adversary. This move aligns with a broader tragedy to abandon the long-standing goal of peaceful reunification. In 2020, North Korea made a similar move by blowing up an empty inter-Korean liaison office, signaling the end of a period of diplomatic engagement. Last year, Pyongyang announced plans to bluster military presence at the border, abandoning a 2018 joint military agreement after South Korea suspended parts of it in response to North Korea's military activities. Earlier this year, North Korea reportedly began laying mines and adding anti-tank barriers along the border, further heightening tensions between the two nations.